Oh wow. This this look this looks very dark in the viewfinder. So it did not look quite this dark in the mirror, but I am looking a kind of very dark, kind of very goth vibe. I'm liking it. I'm a fan. Oh, I finally managed to get uh, wool fake lashes on. Though, uh, from how I'm seeing in the viewfinder, I think that they did not need to be quite as good as I was trying to make them. Uh, for it to be good enough for this camera. <laughs> oh my god, they're so big though. They're so huge. It's very hard to get used to them. They're just... Ooh. So if I'm blinking a lot in this video, that... That is why. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, this video is going to be a um, wrap-up for the month of November. So we're going to be talking about everything that I read in November. And that's about it, so let's do it! <laughs> um, so the first book is one that I do not have um, physically. It is uh, Lioness Rampant by uh, Tamara Pierce, which I, okay, so I, it, I have it set as I started on November 1st, but I know that it's not one that I started immediately. Um, probably closer to like the 7th or like the 14th or something like that. Um, but I finished it on November 20th. I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, Oh man, it, so this was the uh, conclusion to the um, Song of the Linus Quartet, which is a lot of story. And so um, I feel like the third book, uh, which was uh, The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, was probably the weakest um, just because of the fact that this was all originally written. Um, this book was originally written as or the series was originally written as a singular book. Um, and I feel like uh, the uh, woman who rides like a man is the one that is um, the most uh, affected by that. Um, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to uh, off of not reading the Alana books first um, or rereading the Alana books first for me, um, but starting with uh, with my reread with Pr the Protector of the Small series, uh, which is very, very well delineated with Kel's story, of where the first book, which is the one that I currently own physically, it's the only one I currently own physically, uh, is called First Test and follows Kel's uh, first year as a page, and then the second one is Page where it follows the rest of her page years after this sort of like a test year. Um, and then we have Squire, which follows her Squire years. And then finally we have Lady Knight, which follows um, her first adventure as a full-blown knight. And so Kel's story very much reads as a series of books. While a lot of story, um, the third book, not much seems to, it's like, it doesn't feel like it's a full book. It doesn't feel like it's a thing on its own, it just feels like it's a section of a longer story um, because of the way that it was cut up to be um, better, for better for children because um, even after the changes were made to make the actual content of the book more child appropriate, um, they did not feel that uh, a, like, I think it was like 600, 800 page book was going to be readable for, ch for children. Uh, and then, you know, we look at something like Rick Riordan's books and how they've been going and how they're not young adult yet and probably never will be because he is very, very squarely middle grade, very, very squarely for, um, 
kind of a bit older now, kind of more like preteen, um, but still for, and like younger teens, uh, but still very much for kids. So I guess we do have one thing to thank J.K. Rowling for. Um, but yes, okay, so, um, I don't know how much of this book I can actually talk about. Because it's the finale, so it's sort of, it has its own little story and then it's wrapping up everything else. But, um, I managed to completely forget about, uh, oh, what's his face? The Shang Dragon? Like, I read those books as a kid, but I had, he was just gone. I had no memory of the Shang Dragon. Uh, Liam, I think his name was? Um, I managed to forget a lot of characters that did not show up later, honestly. So, uh, I'm not sure how long it was between my first read and my reread, but I think I... I think I read all of them in middle school and then didn't return to them until now I'm uh, 23 I started um, I think sometime last year so either 22 or 21 so yeah probably about a decade but yeah um, okay we gotta close her Okay, so the next book that I finished this month is uh, The Trials of Apollo, uh, The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. Um, just speaking of Rick Riordan, and oh, how long is this? Like 400 something pages? Okay, this is, for, yeah, this is 423 pages. Um, well, The Protector of the Small, that can't be more than like 200 pages. Um, so. Um, so I, I did start this on November 1st, uh, it was the, yeah, the first book that I started when I started doing the, uh, most of the books that I read this month are for the, um, Believe in Magic Readathon, and this is the first one that I started for that. Um, so I started it on the 1st, and I finished it on the 21st, so, uh, it took me a while, uh, but I, I loved it. Um. And I gave it five stars. I just, it was great. I love, I love, uh, I love Reyna. I love, uh, Lavinia. Um, pretty, pretty Lavinia. That was literally all I could think about, like, the, the entire book, uh, when I was, like, whenever they said Lavinia, whenever they were talking about her, like, I love, I love all lesbians in books. Um, it's, I'm contractually obligated to love every single lesbian in a book. Um, but every time that they mentioned Lavinia, all I could think of was the serial killer. Um, um, the, yeah, I love, oh my god, I love peaches! Peaches! I love peaches! I love peaches. I love, I love Comrade Peaches. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I actually, uh, when this was coming out, I thought this was the last book in the, uh, Trials of Apollo series. Um, I thought it was going to be a quartet. But then I went to the uh, event in September and found out that there is actually another. And so now I I need the next book, please soon. I know I know you just released this, but I need the next one. I need it, Rick. So the next book that I read. Um, is also not one that I have physically, um, because I don't think it exists physically. I don't, I'm not certain if it exists as a physical book. Um, I believe it just exists as an audiobook and as a PDF, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but the next book that I read this month is It's Not What It Looks Like, uh, by Molly Burke. Um, and I've had this book for a while. <laughs> 
because I got it while I still had an active Audible account, and, you know, every month I'd be like, oh, pick two free Audible originals, and I was like, okay, um, I guess I'll p pick two of these to want to read, and so a lot of them I have not actually gone through, because, um, a lot of them I just got because of the offerings, they were the ones I was interested in most. Um, and, you know, they're free, so I, like, I might as well get the two. If I'm being offered two books, I might as well get two free books. Uh, um, and so I started that on, um, November 22nd, and I finished it on November 22nd. Um, yeah, I play, I listened to it while playing Pokemon overnight, um, which, a I think about three of these are all I listen to them uh, while playing Pokemon. Um, and I gave it four stars. Um, oh God, I really, I really did enjoy um, just like getting to hear a uh, like disabled person talk about their experience of disability where it's it's not like the only thing that's going on in their lives um where it's not like the intense focus but it's something that like it has touched every aspect of their life somehow because it it does that um you know like i um am not just a person who uses a wheelchair i'm not just a chronically ill person but that part of me affects literally everything because I can't get into some buildings and I can't do some things and I get kind of shit medical care. So, um, yeah. And I also really liked her, um, just talking about the social model of disability for a more, uh, a larger audience because of the fact that this is a free Audible original that you can pick up if you want to, uh, during, I think it was September. Um, yeah. And then next I read, um, I think I actually read this first, but for some reason, Good for some reason Goodreads has decided to put, uh, it's not what it looks like first, um, but I also that night read uh, Wild Magic, um, and so I finished that on November 23rd. It is not saying, oh, okay, I did two nights, oh, I did like, okay, yeah, I did two nights of this. So I listened to It's Not What It Looks Like the first night, and then I listened to two other the next night. Okay, that's what happened. Um, I finished it on the 23rd. It does not say when I started it. Um, this go around because it first started reading it says uh, January 12th 2018 which was the date that I started reading for the first time that I have uh, in Goodreads that I read this um, I gave it five stars I just I was feeling it this time you know like um, like I don't I don't think it's a five star book I don't think it's quite there, but it was, it was a five-star experience this time. That's what happened. Like, I reread, uh, Wild Magic while playing Pokemon, uh, and I had a five-star experience. That's just, that's just what happened. <laughs> that's just what's going on up in here for, uh, that. Um, I don't, I don't really have any actual thoughts about the book, uh, like, it was good. I, for me personally, I really love, like, this style of full cast audio. Um, I really hate, like, the, um, like, full play type version, like, I listened to a version of Little Women back in, like, high school where it was basically just, like, a play with, like, no narration and just, like, sound effects and all that, and I cannot follow that. I can't follow that. Um, 
but I really like full cast audio where they they're still reading you the book like all of the book there's still all the narration and all of that but they have like different voice actors for each of the characters and then also Tamara Pierce is the one who did the narration so you get her doing the narration and then you get like Numair and you get uh Dane and you get uh Alana and everyone um and I really like that because um, uh, with audiobooks, I, I sometimes tend to have trouble with telling who's speaking, um, because that information just gets lost somewhere in my brain. I don't know what it is. So I really enjoy just being able to very quickly, uh, pick out who's talking with having the distinctive voices, um. And also then, you know, um, you don't have the author trying to do, not the author, the narrator trying to do accents for specific characters and just being really bad at them. Because then you can, you can uh, hire a person, a singular person, who either is good at doing that accent or just has that accent. And so I really need to just, um, I need to find more books like that. I need to find more books like that because I loved it. Um, and so next I, oh. <laughs> um, next I read, um, oh gosh, this is here and then. So next I read, uh, the Mr. Mr. The uh, Mystic School of Music Crafts by Jessica Corey. Cowry? Corey. Corey? Corey. Okay. So, it's by Jessica Corey. Corey? Uh, um, and it was nice. It was just nice. It was a nice little middle grade book, um, about some kids doing magic with music. And there was actual music in there. It was actually another, uh, Audible original that I got. Um, I'm not certain when. I'm not certain when I got it, but it had like a orchestral accompaniment for the songs that they were playing, and I really, I just enjoyed it. It was nice. I, I didn't rate it. Why doesn't it say I rated it? I rated it five stars. Um, it was just nice. It was sweet. It was a little heavy-handed, but it was about the power of friendship. <laughs> and the power of being yourself and it was just it was a kid's book and I enjoyed it and I don't think I really have to go into it more than that I don't I don't need to defend myself I enjoyed a children's book that was cute and fun okay and then so next I finished um and yellow Kaminsky and yellow Kaminsky story a journey to America a voyage from Poland during World War II. Okay. It's a long title, and I forgot. Um, yeah, The Journey to America is the series name. Um, it's like a series of... It's, you know, like those little historical things that they had, like at the library, where they had, like, Journey to America. Or, like, the diaries. Oh, my God, the fucking diaries. Like, the, the princess... Di That's the princess diaries. That's a different thing like the, ro the royal diaries or something like that where it was like these diaries of like these royals like when they were like teenagers and preteens and just them like writing about their lives and you learn about their lives and then there was like the ones about the Americans where it was just these normal girls where they were just like in these okay I need to pick some of those up actually I I saw like I was at like the uh, Gaithersburg library recently not recently, like a year and a half ago, 
Um, but I was at the Gaithersburg Library, and I saw, like, they had, like, a line above them, and I was just like, no, 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 I need, I, I need to focus. I need, I'm here, I'm here for a specific book. I need to focus. Ugh. <laughs> But yeah, this one I rated three stars, um, because it was, it was also one of those where it was, you know, kind of, uh, heavy-handed, um, very heavy-handed <laughs> with the messaging of it, and, um, it just didn't hit me the same. Like, Mistwick just hit different. Um, I think it was, it was partially just that I didn't enjoy the experience of reading it as much. And maybe, you know, if I had an audiobook version of it that I listened to while playing Pokemon. <laughs> maybe I- oh! So I started it on November 23rd, and I finished it on November 30th. Um, but yes, if I had done this- if I had the same experience with it that I had with Mistwick, I probably would have also given it five stars. Um, but also, it is a slightly more uh, serious subject matter. Um, you know. In my gut. Just in my heart, I know. That I enjoyed Mistwick more, even though I have the same complaints about both. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Oh, yeah, because I never finished. I started Winnie the Pooh. I still haven't finished Winnie the Pooh. Um, I need to get on that. I need to read more Winnie the Pooh because I just, I loved it. I'm not going to talk about it more here because this is not the place for that. But I just, I really enjoyed Winnie the Pooh. What I've read of it, I think I've read like three stories from it. So I'll update you on that once I'm actually done with it. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so, uh, that is it for my November wrap-up. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you all again soon. Bye!